Herbalife, HLF. Just as the markets overall are falling, Herbalife is hitting an all-time high today. While its nemesis, Bill Ackman, the hedge fund giant, not having such a good day because he had announced that he is yielding in his battle, giving it up with the nutrition supplement company and bailing on his $1 billion short. Because, Charlie, I don't want to know how much he's lost on that short. <laughs> Uh, I don't I don't think we can calculate it. It's like this was this might be one of the worst investments, single investments uh, I've seen in a long time. Um, it was done with great fanfare. I mean, Bill Ackman came out six, almost six years ago to the day saying that uh, Herbalife is a pyramid scheme, meaning it doesn't really have real customers. It just keeps building up distributors who eventually will stop bu buying this stuff because they can't sell it. Therefore, the whole pyramid will implode and the stock is going to zero. Uh, he mounted a, an a, a massive, in, in terms of a short sell, I've never seen anybody go after a company like this, calling, calling Herbalife a fraud, a massive campaign, both in the halls of Washington, on social media. Called I mean, it a pyramid scheme. Yeah, that was, yes, a pyramid scheme and, and a fraud. And uh, it was a multi-pronged attack uh, in public relations and in Washington. Um, and it, it, for a time, he looked like he was winning the battle. If you put a six-year chart up, you'll see that, that there was a time when the, the stock did sort of look like it was going down to that, that level that he said it would go to, and that's zero, by the way. Um, and then along the, along the way, Herbalife survived. It survived a, a uh, FTC settlement, which did not shut it down, said it had some issues with, its, with the way it, 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 it sold itself to distributors, it, it did, but it did not get so, shut down. Uh, they obviously have real profits. They've attracted outside investors like Carl Icahn, who has a major stake in the company. And today the company uh, announced the buyback, and lo and behold, Bill Ackman has completely thrown in the towel. We should point out that over the last couple of years, he's been hedging his uh, his investment, and, you know, stating that, for example, uh, you know, he still believes it's going to zero, uh, but uh, he needs to hedge it because of the, the way the stock is trading, the fact that you have Carl Icahn in there as, as a long. Um, and he increasingly uh, talked about that, that hedge. Today, it looks like he's thrown the, the towel in. The question is, does he still mount the, the campaign against it, even without being in it? He is, basically took this on as a crusade. It kind of hurt his reputation because it, it didn't work out so well. Um, and you know what else is interesting, Liz, on this stock? It's not just Bill Ackman. There are a whole host of sort of stock traders, I guess they're, they're, um, they're day traders, that are in this stock piggybacking off his calls. I, I didn't know this until I started getting involved in this stock and looking at this stock and looking at Fannie Mae, that, they, that these people like piggyback off, off other calls. They mm -hmm. attack reporters who, listen, I have no horse in this race. I could, I'm not saying that Herbalife's a great company. I just never thought it was going to zero because they have real products. I mean, it just didn't seem like, right. it seemed like something was there. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, this is something that average investors should worry about because you'll see a lot of social media trolling on stuff. Yeah. Stocks like this. 